when organisms compete for limited resources, it is called competition. Competition can happen between organisms of the same species. Organisms of the same species might compete to defend territory or acquire mates. These elephant seals are fighting for mates, and these sea anemones are competing with each other for territory. Competition between different species occurs when they try to occupy the same niche. A niche describes the way that an organism uses resources and interacts with the environment. If species have overlapping niches, then they're trying to use the same set of resources. When organisms compete for a niche, one will outcompete the other, and the losing population will rapidly decline and could die out. These two species of paramecium are commonly used in experiments to demonstrate competition. You can see that when they're grown separately, both species are very successful. However, when they are grown together, paramecium aurelia is very successful, but paramecium cadatum almost dies out completely in just 10 days. These two types of paramecium are not attacking each other or eating each other or being parasitic. They're simply competing for resources and Paramecium aurelia is far better at competing for resources than Paramecium cadatum. Non-native species often compete with native populations to fill a niche. But since non-native species have no natural predators, they can overtake the native organisms. These rabbits are a classic example of an invasive species. These rabbits are native to this area in Europe. But 24 rabbits, only 24, were introduced into Australia. Now they number in the tens of millions and they've almost overtaken the entire country. That's because they have no natural enemies in Australia and are able to outcompete native herbivores for resources. Populations can avoid competition by filling different niches. This allows both populations to thrive. In this example, these three species of warblers live in different sections of the tree. The Cape May warbler feeds in the upper part of the tree. The bay breasted warbler feeds in the middle, and the yellow rumped warbler feeds in the lower part of the tree. Because they occupy different niches, by staying in different parts of the habitat, they're able to avoid competing with each other.